fin strength or we can say what we can say is that now this is the solution in continuous charge distribution in continuous charge distribution electric field intensity is equal to pl over 2 pi epsilon r a of r electric field intensity is e is equal to pl over 2 pi epsilon r a of r yeah but in discrete components e is equal to q over 4 pi epsilon r squared a of r but we are not dealing with discrete components but we are dealing with continuous charge distribution because the conductor is moving from infinity to a point r are we together there are we are we together there so e what is the formula of getting after getting e we said now we can get the voltage we can get the voltage so what is the formula for getting voltage the formula for getting voltage is v is equal to the negative integral of e dl e dl the negative integral of e dl the negative integral of e dl and the voltage moves from infinity to a point here quite okay so it will always move from a point r2 to a point r1 are we together there are we together there yeah so this one is equal to negative integral of r1 into r2 replace the e with this equation there so this one will be pl over 2 pi epsilon r a of r d uh, dl dl a of r dl so you've taken it up to that point quite okay but the dl this one shows you that uh, the, the way you are going to integrate uh, your variations quite okay we are dealing with r quite okay we are dealing with r so dl dl will be a of r dr dl will be a of r dr so if we are going to replace this into this equation then this is minus r2 into r1 pl over 2 pi epsilon r a of r a of r dr dr we have already replaced the dl quite okay the direction of the differentiation we have replaced it because we want the distance of the cable we want the distance of the cable which is r and we have changed it to r and a of r dot a of r is equal to one so we can be able to simplify this into v now being equal to negative integral of r1 and r2 into pl over 2 pi epsilon r uh, dr dr we have now simplified it up to that point uh, quite okay we have now simplified it up to that point now we are differentiating with relative to r we are integrating with the relative to r so this one is the same as negative integral i can say this one the whole of this is a constant so this one becomes pl over 2 pi epsilon 2 pi epsilon now into ln of r from r1 to r2 which i can write it as minus pl over 2 pi epsilon ln of r1 over r2 and if i want to remove the negative 
then this one is PL over 2 pi epsilon LN of R2 over R1 over R1. This one will be our voltage. So, so uh, this one will be our voltage. Quite okay. It's quite okay. We can hold there a bit. You take that one before I go on. From here, this is V. This is V is equal to this equation. I can keep keeping, let's say, Yeah, I've seen it. So we can say keeping PL as the subject. Are we together? I want to PL as the subject. I want this one as the subject of the formula. V will be uh, PL. PL will be equal to V over over V times two pi epsilon. This comes here so that PL over LN of R2 over R1. This is the formula for, this will be PL. Quite okay. Are we together? And originally, E is equal to PL over 2 pi epsilon R, isn't so? Uh, PL is 2 pi over epsilon R. So replacing the value of PL, E will be equal to, uh, PL will, E will be equal to the PL, which is V, 2 pi times epsilon over LN of R square, R2 over R1 into there is this part which is there, 2 pi epsilon r. 2 pi epsilon r. Quite okay. 2 pi epsilon r. So that the 2 pi epsilon and the 2 pi epsilon disappears. So E is equal to V over r into ln r of 2 over R of 1. R of R2 over R1. R2 over R1. R1. If, if the R, if the R is R1, then we can say E is equal to V over R1 into LN over R2, or, uh, lateral logarithm of R2 over R1. Lateral logarithm of R2 over R1. Now, inserting, inserting the values, inserting the values, we have E is equal to 25 times 10 to power 6 which is equal to, have we been given the voltage? Yes, the voltage is 200 times 10 to power three over R1 into, uh, into lateral logarithm of R, R2 over R1, but R, R1, is it R2, but R2, but R, R2 is equal to what? There was an information. Yeah, R2, R2, but R2 is equal to 2 R1. So this equation becomes 25 times 10 to power 6 is equal to 200 times 10 to power 3 over R1 into ln of 2 R1 over R1, so the R1 cancels, so this one is 25, or we can say this one is R1, lateral logarithm of 2 is equal to 200 times 10 to power 3 
over 25 times 10 to power 6, which this 25 goes here 8 times. It goes there 8 times times 10 to power minus 3 is R1 natural logarithm of 2. So R1 is 8 times 10 to power minus 3 over natural logarithm of 2. That is what you're going to get. That is what you got. Was there something I forgot? There was an epsilon. Where did we keep the epsilon? There was an epsilon. Where did we lose the epsilon? No? Epsilon is cancelled. Epsilon is cancelled. Yeah, epsilon is cancelled. We are getting that value. That is the value after dividing. Uh, R1 will be equal to that one. Quite okay. R1 will be equal to that value. So, capacitance, capacitance, so let me rub here first. Capacitance is equal to Q over voltage and our voltage was equal to when we calculated the voltage we got our voltage to be PL over 2 pi epsilon LN of R2 over R1. So this one will be Q over PL over 2 pi epsilon LN of R over 2, R2 over R1. R2 over R1. And the Q in a line, and Q in a line is equal to PL. So this one will be equal to PL over PL over 2 pi epsilon LN R2 over R1. The PL and PL disappears. So I think this one will be 2, 2 pi epsilon over ln of R2 over R1. This will be the capacitance. Since we know, we know, since we know the values, now we can place in the value. Since we know the values, we can place in the values. So C is equal to 2 times 3.142 times 8.85 times 10 to power minus 12 over, over ln of R2, ln of R2, R, R2 will be 0 0.0115 times 2 over R1, which is 0, 1, 1, 5, which this one and this one goes, that one and that one goes. So C is equal to 6.282 times 8.85 times 10 to power minus 12 over ln of over ln of 2, which you are going to get, if you calculate it, it will be 0 0.802 microfarad. And the energy stored in a capacitor, energy stored in a capacitor, energy stored in a capacitor, in a capacitor, uh, energy is equal to a half CV squared, or it can be a half QV. It can be a half QV, 
Or do we have the capacitance? Yes. We have the capacitance and the voltage. So we can only use the voltage. So E is a half and the capacitance is 0 0.802 times 10 to power minus 6. And the voltage, the voltage was 200 times 10 to power 3. So the energy will be equal to 16, 16 kilojoules. There is somewhere squared. This one is squared. So this is 16 kilojoules. We can hold there. We can put a full stop there. We can hold there.